What's up guys? I've got a lot of information to unload on you about the iPhone 8 regarding the leaks and rumors and on this channel, the first hands-on with the iPhone 8, the model that was sent to me by Vania Geskin I'd like to share with you in this video. Let's get to that. All right guys, super excited to take a look at this, open this beast up and get my hands on a first look at the iPhone 8, little size comparison and overall shape. All right, so just got this guy from uh, Venia Geskin. He hooked me up with a accurate 3D model. So this is based on all of these schematics, all of those leaks that we've seen. Someone went and made a model from it, and I got it here. Here she is. Ooh, that is thin, surprisingly thin. From all the pictures that I've seen, this thing looks like it's got some thickness, but holding it actually in person, it's a different story here. All right, so. There it is, we got that vertical camera cutout and surprisingly good quality for a model. Ooh, all right. Wow, I can only imagine this thing with its screen on working, that would look so incredible. But you've got the screen cutouts running the entire portion of the display except for this sensor bar up here. So, wow, that looks sleek. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. On the bottom, you've got your port speakers and on the side a slightly longer power button so let's get an iphone in here for comparison iphone 7 and uh look at that this this thing looks absolutely ancient compared to it i mean let me turn the brightness down here a little bit but the screen stops where here it just keeps going on the bottom up top man it just looks old this is going to do to iphones what the iphone 4 did to the display with the retina display you can never look at an older one the same way again so on the back, I mean, I can't say the back necessarily looks that much better. It's just a slight changing camera there. But size-wise, this thing is very, very similar to an iPhone uh, 7. Now let's get a Samsung Galaxy S8 in here, further compare these guys. So as you can see, pretty close here, not far off. So it's a little bit shorter, it's a little bit fatter though. Displays though are going to be pretty close in size as you can see on the iPhone They're just gonna be a little bit bigger I just love the fact that size wise it's comparable to an iPhone 7 Which is very very comfortable to hold in your hand yet has a screen that's bigger than the 7 plus even so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that over so check that out even next to a plus the display is bigger on this guy as it reaches up a little bit higher So there it is. that's a comparable screen size. You've got 0.3 inches and uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Looks awesome. So thanks to Vania for this concept here. Last thing I wanted to point out is the power buttons. Look at that. It's almost about a, almost two times uh, longer. Maybe, maybe, maybe Apple did that just in case they can't get the Touch ID to work in the display. They'll put it in here, but very comfortable. I can reach a uh, pretty good radius here on the phone, not in the very top, but pretty dang comfortable. So that's the iPhone 7 size model comparison, first hands-on with it on this channel here. And with my printer's last dying breath, I was able to print this out and give you guys a little size comparison with the screen on. So just, uh, just a little placeholder there. Basically, you got the status bar, which would be black, not this like grayed out black because my ink is running out. Basically, the screen starts there and goes all the way up there, making this thing look so tiny in comparison. Next up is another hands-on with an iPhone 8 model, but this one is in much higher detail. Thanks to OnLeaks with Vania Geskin and a third company that was working in collaboration, they actually made this thing and produced it, and it looks fantastic. It shows a lot of the smaller details. It even has the Apple logo on there, all these sensors in the camera. It looks really, really good. And this will basically match the one. I have this 3D modeled, but it showcases the black polished finish on it, jet black. OnLeaks actually commented on it and said that the camera bump isn't as noticeable as you would think. And really, it isn't. It's just barely sticking out. Although in a lot of the leaks, it looks like it's just boom, just like completely out there, but it's really not. It's maybe even a little bit less than the 7 Plus right now, if this is uh, to be believed. Guys, this is actually super cool. Found deep within iOS 11, new sounds that are hinting at wireless charging and what it could sound like in iOS 11. So a developer actually found these, and one of them is called Engage Power, and the other is Connect Power. So Connect Power sounds like this. It's basically what we already have, just with a drawn out echo at the end, and the other one sounds completely futuristic, definitely something to do with wireless charging. 
So that's just a cool little Easter egg found in iOS 11, hinting at what may be to come with the iPhone 8 and maybe even the 7S models as we talked about, those might get wireless charging as well. Now Barclays analyst is predicting the iPhone 8 will come with a new USB-C power adapter starting at 10 watts. So that's the same one that's currently being sold right now with the 10.5 inch iPad Pro, meaning fast charging, but also a complete shift in Apple's cable uh, setup. You know, currently we get USB-A type cables in our boxes with the iPhone. Now there will be USB-C, meaning it'll be equal across the line. Your MacBook with the USB-C ports will now flawlessly connect with the iPhone 8 without needing extra adapters or anything like that, which is great. Not only that, it basically confirms fast charging is coming as a 10 watt charge rate is gonna mean a faster charge on the iPhone. And guys, some awesome news. So Vivo at Mobile World Congress, a phone manufacturer, they did show off the first physical demo of an embedded fingerprint working in a display. It's awesome because it allows for a clean look, no buttons on the front of the phone, no sensors or pads on the back for your fingerprint. It's just directly within the display. It works quite well, not as fast as you might think, but it does the job. The only negative is that it's only on a certain portion of the display, so it's a little area right here that you have to be very precise with uh, pressing your finger there. But otherwise, it allows for improved water resistance as well as a larger display, they said. So that's great, meaning that this definitely could be possible for the iPhone 8 to come September or October whenever it releases. Also, Qualcomm did also in the same day release their own version of this technology, which is even better than Vivo's. Now, it allows for a full phone display fingerprint sensor, so that can be anywhere up here or down here, it would work the same, and it can actually scan through metal as well. Obviously, it works better through a display, but it can work through the back of your phone. So if Apple doesn't include it in the front of the phone, they might even uh, do it on the back because ultrasonic waves can pass through metal as well, but obviously it would be a better bet uh, to do it through the display. So awesome news for the fingerprint sensor. So the iPhone 8 is actually creating a very monumental shortage in NAND chips and VRAM. So a lot of the components used in mobile phones, LG in particular, they're starting to hurt because of this. They're making orders a month in advance of when they usually would because Apple is basically taking all of the orders for the iPhone 8 and still that will not be enough trust me the iPhone 8 will sell out within minutes You're not gonna be able to get one for months after release but man it's really really making an impact already without even being on sale yet now more and more evidence is mounting that the iPhone 8 will use a 3d sensing camera uh, for augmented reality purposes in the front and back of the phone so loop ventures is reporting that Apple did uh, place a lot of orders for these laser sensors in order to make that 3D modeling capability possible for both cameras, not just one, but the rear one as well. So that way you're gonna have multiple uses for this. Not only can it be used as a headset device, but also to model your face and unlock your phone with it. And they're saying this is gonna be one of the iPhone's biggest features coming later this year. Now, as a result of getting these new 3D sensing capabilities, the same company is saying that the iPhone 8's price will jump by $100 to $950, which is still not as bad as we've heard that it would cross a thousand dollar mark, but $950 for all of this crazy tech almost seems fair, but still, I'm not sure how many people are gonna be willing to pay that much for just some things that they might not necessarily even need. And there are more and more iPhone 8 clones popping up. That blocky design with the fingerprint sensor on the back, now in product red even. So I just think it's a little funny that they're being made. Uh, Vanya Giskin is puzzled as well as to why, but don't believe that. That is probably not gonna be the design of the iPhone 8 at this point. However, there are working clones of the correct model design, which I was a little shocked to see. They're already on sale. So uh, the iPhone 8, I'm not gonna have one of these for you very soon in clone form months before it's even released. I find that very, very interesting. It looks hideous, the display, but the back is passable for what might actually be. So I just thought that was fascinating that they're already on the market, but that's usually the case every year. You know, We see the clones before the real one even goes on market, even when the design is about to get changed as well. And some eye bleach for you, the latest concept from Apple Eye Designer showcases that massive display on the iPhone 8. It looks absolutely fabulous. So just wanna give a shout out to Apple Eye Designer for providing these awesome concepts on my channel. Do follow him, uh, great stuff there. And also from Vania Geskin, a real life iPhone 8 mock-up with a screen protector leak showcasing how the display will look in really, really good quality. Again, looks fantastic, cannot wait. And a rumor beyond the iPhone 8 for the iPhone 9 already, LG is supposedly working already to get Apple's business when it comes to flexible printed circuit boards for the iPhone 9. So that's the future. 
of the inside of the iPhone. They're gonna wanna incorporate these circuit boards to wrap with the display instead of being completely static and flat. And LG is already working on that for the iPhone 9, supposedly. All right, guys, there it is, the latest on the iPhone 8. First hands-on look at the actual model on this channel. Very excited, I love the sizing, you know, just how it fits, the comfortability in your hand, so I do love that. Cannot wait to get my hands on the iPhone 8 clone uh, once that is available, and I'll be sharing more information on the iPhone 8 with you on this channel as it arrives. Peace.